reinventing essentials for sustainable living. This is our purpose and we use our innovation power to ensure that we are driving towards the circularity journey. Today, in a modern life, plastics are indispensable. But what we also know is that the ecological footprint of plastics needs to improve significantly. And we will do that with technology. decarbonize plastics, we need to keep the carbon in the cycle. This means we need to design the products for eco-efficiency. We use them as often as possible and at the end of their lifetime we need to recycle. At Polaris we are investing enormous sums to drive circular economy. It's not only because we see it as a business opportunity, but also because we see it as the most effective way to reduce primary consumption, reduce plastic waste, reduce emissions and by that combating climate change. Today we live in a linear economy, which is about make, use and dispose. And we cannot continue like that. We need to go to a circular economy. So for that we have developed our circular cascade, how we think we can transition to a circular economy for our plastics. In our circular cascade, we start with design for recycling and reuse to make sure that we use the plastics to its highest value. We are running our production plants both in hydrocarbons as well as in polyphenes more and more with green electricity. This we do by contracting power purchase agreements for wind and solar power for our production locations in Austria, Belgium, Finland and Sweden. On top of that we are installing photovoltaic panels on our rooftops as well as on neighboring brownfields. By 2022 we already source 28% of our electricity from renewable resources. By 2025, this will be 40% and by 2030, this will be 100%. By improving our electricity mix towards green, we will also improve our greenhouse gas emissions. But that's our emissions. On top of that, we offer innovative solutions to our customers, which helps them reducing their carbon footprint. Renewable energy is typically produced in remote locations and needs to be transported over long distances to the end user. A major challenge uh, is here to have as little energy loss as possible on the long way to the customer. Borealis started many years ago the development of materials uh, with its Borelink high voltage technology for power cables to exactly fulfill these requirements, low loss of energy and a sustainable material. A very good example is the German Corridor. The energy is produced in the North Sea in offshore wind parks and transferred to the customer down to the south of Germany. A large part of our business is the hydrocarbons business and hydrocarbons are the base chemicals from which we make our products plastics. We can make those base chemicals from sustainable feedstocks. Those base chemicals are offered to the market under the Borvida brand. Those feedstocks can also be used to make polymers. So for example, in our renewables portfolio, which are based on renewable feedstock, like waste and residue streams from biomass, which are non-food, uh, we produce a portfolio which has a very low carbon footprint, which is a great benefit for our customers. Next to that, it is equal in quality and safety as the customer is used from our plastics. It's the so-called drop-in which makes that you can um, easily use it and also is recyclable at the end of life. In 2016, Borealis was the first polyolefin producer to step into mechanical recycling. And since then, we have uh, ramped up to three operational mechanical recycling plants. For plastic waste that cannot be mechanically recycled, uh, we have chemical recycling. In this way, we also avoid that that plastic waste is going to incineration or landfill. As an industry, we've already achieved a lot to accelerate circular economy and to manage plastic waste. But for sure, this is not enough. Circular economy requires a system change. This is why we launched, together with our partner Systemic, already in 2017, Project Stop in Indonesia. The project aims to reduce plastic that reaches the ocean and its marine ecosystems. So far, we have been very successful on the ground. We have actually collected 40,000 tons of waste, We've connected 300,000 people to a waste management system and we have created more than 300 full-time jobs. We have also shown that the system works successfully and have partly also handed it over to the local municipalities. 
With our ever mindful mindset, we have been inspired to create this platform called Everminds. And together with our value chain partners and our customers, we seek for solutions to ensure that plastics get multiple lives and that we use the resources very mindful. Plastics are part of the solution for the future. We need to close the loop. This is the main challenge. We need to keep the carbon and the plastics in the cycle. And this is what we do together with our customers. That will require enormous investments on a global basis to achieve this circular economy. We at Borealis, our team is fully committed to drive the entire industry into a new era, an era with net zero with plastics.